Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at days 11 to 17 of the LEGO Star Wars 2022 advent calendar. Now this is a few days late because for the week 3 episode that's supposed to come out every Saturday and yeah, I, I, would, I just didn't feel like doing it. I don't have an excuse this time, I got over COVID really quickly. But anyway, let's get into it. And oh yeah, since it's late, the next episode will only be a couple of days from now, assuming I do that one on time. But yeah, let's take a look at day 10. I mean 11. <laughs> Here's a V35 land speeder. It's a pretty nice design. I'm pretty sure it's called a V35, correct me if I'm wrong. And here's the larger one from Moss Eisley Cantina. It's pretty interesting that they used orange for this one and yellow for this, but I like them both. They both look, they both look pretty cool, but yeah. A nice little advent calendar build. Goes well with Luke's land speeder. 12, we very surprisingly had Beach Vader and also a volleyball. My first time getting this piece, it's pretty interesting that it doesn't attach to any other Lego pieces, which makes it hard to have it stay on a table or whatever, but yeah, pretty cool Vader figure. It's good that he has arm printing. I was worried that he wouldn't because on the box he doesn't, but he does, so that's great. And I really like the torso print with the Death Star Sun and the TIE Fighters and the birds and the Scarif trees. And then on the back we've got the Citadel Tower and the Death Star again and some more TIE Fighters. It's just a cool figure. And of course the same regular Vader face print and some black flippers, which I haven't gotten before, so they're pretty cool pieces. I've gotten green ones before, but haven't had black ones before, so yep, pretty nice. And no cape or anything, but didn't really need it on this figure. So yeah, favorite day so far. Thought he'd be 24, but I guess Artu is, <laughs> I'm assuming. Haven't gotten there yet. And for day 13, we have Darth Vader's Sandcastle. So this is very similar to the 2020 build of his regular castle, but just a bit different, obviously, in tan and with the water in there. And it also has this little red bucket, which I just pulled the handle off of, and a spade for Vader, so you can give Vader the shovel and the bucket or whatever. And you can have Vader making his sand castle. Pretty cool couple of days. Definitely like them. And this is probably one of my favorite Christmas figures of all time. And for day 14, we have the B-Wing Starfighter. That was a really cool build. I like how, well, it's a B-Wing, so obviously you can have it in all different positions. You can fold the wings down like that for that sort of position. You can have them straight out. You can have it rotated on its side or on the other side. You can position it up like that, but putting it like this makes it fall, unfortunately unless you have it like leaning forward properly like that. So I normally just have it like this. And yeah, it's a really nice build. I like it a lot. Day 15 was the TIE Interceptor. And I think this one looks really cool. I like the, I love the wings. I love the angles there that they've got with the pointy bit and yeah, you know, specifically in contrast to the 2016 advent calendar build of a TIE Interceptor, which was absolutely crap compared to this but they have a surprisingly similar build for the midsection, and like with the red bit in there, and except that one has a stud on the bottom. Uh, this one though has this pretty nice dish piece printed that goes there, and I sort of wish they did something printed for this one. I do like the better, the look of the gray dish piece with the transparent stud, but they definitely could have given it this printed tile from the mini TIE Fighters from Gideon's Light Cruiser. Same goes for the regular TIE Fighter from the 2021 advent calendar that just had a plain dot and not one of these tiles. So strange, but massive improvement on the 2016 one. Day 16 is this, and I'm not exactly 100% sure on what this is supposed to be, which is annoying because I normally like to know my stuff, but I've heard some people say that it's based on that 2019 set, the Death Star Escape, where Luke and Leia like swinging across the gap, and then this is the mouse droid from the set. But I don't know where what this is supposed to look like in the set. Like if this is one of the doorways, why has it got the cheese slopes in there so nothing can stand there? And what's the point of having people stand there if it's so small anyway? And then a stud shooter on the side. It's cool to get this new stud shooter piece with the in black and stuff, you can give it to the snow trooper or whatever. But why is it on the side like that? What is this little box supposed to be? What's the little archway for? What's the mouse droid supposed to do? Like, I don't know, I'm just really confused. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure I can really say how much I like this one. And finally for day 17 we have the aforementioned Snow Trooper. So yep, face print, nothing special, just a Snow Trooper. Got a bunch of them from the Snow Trooper Battle Pack this year. Yeah, just nice little army builder. Wasn't really necessary, but like goes well with the other Hoth stuff in the set. And that's every day of the advent calendar so far. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like it and consider subscribing to the channel and keep an eye out for week four, which will come hopefully in two days time on the 24th, unless I get sidetracked. <laughs> See ya!